It's White Cane Day, a time to recognize how the simple tool expands the reach of the blind and visually impaired. That's according to the National Federation of the Blind. KIMT News 3's Evan Berg is joining us live from Quarry Hill Nature Center in Rochester. That's where students connected with the world around them during an event. Evan, gorgeous out there. Tell us, what was it like today? Just today was all about teaching kids how to navigate with a simple and reliable tool, the white cane, which extends their reach to allow them to explore the world around them. Today, kids were allowed to explore the nature center, learn some tips and tricks, and get hands-on with some of the animals around here. 87 students came out today to participate in the event from across several districts, including Rochester Public Schools, Cass and Manorville, and Winona. Organizers say the experience is a good way for these students to learn more about how to stay safe outside and also meet others their own age who share similar experiences. The young people out here today had some great tips for cane safety, too. Do not sort of a fight with canes, <laughs> but um, um, always keep your cane with you at all times and um, do safe hands if you're by like trees or plants or anything. It protects you to know what's out in front of you. And so that's why we have White Cane Safety Day to kind of educate the public. The event also featured plenty of other ways for kids to have fun while learning, including arts and crafts and a music song celebration. Live in Rochester, Evan Berg, KMT News 3. Sounds like a great event. Thank you so much, Evan. The day also aims to raise drivers' awareness about white cane laws that includes stopping and giving the right of way at crosswalks to blind pedestrians.